that's basically the Mohemoth. Except you, the the guy who lives there, I, I want to say Johnson, but that's not it. Um, it's it's not Jonah. That would be too obvious. Um, I don't know. I have I have my game here just in case I need to check on stuff. Um, you can go back there as a dig site because he convinces the Bonehemoth to swallow a teleporter machine. So you can actually visit and dig up fossils from him from his insides as much as you want. And actually, he has some really good fossils inside him. He has both coelacanth and dunkelosteus. Two we'll, we'll freaking awesome now, fish. Some of these like monsters really do confuse and weird me out, but we'll get to those later. I'm assuming. Oh, there, there are more. You haven't. You had. You don't know about. You show me that one. You don't know the chickens. Oh, of course there's chickens. I, I've seen the chickens. But I, I think I showed you the chickens. You showed me at least one chicken. But anyway. Uh, okay, here's... Um, did I show you Lord Tonzilla? That's Tonzilla. Well, yeah, Castle Fighters has no sense of that's, subtlety. That's, that's one thing that's really not bothering me here. I, I, I actually think a, a, a castaway reference is pretty cool. Well, are a lot of references like that, actually. See, I wish um, Pokemon had more references. Yeah, Pokemon, I, unfortunately... It doesn't. Fossil Fighters it has the. Its own little world. Fossil Fighters has the annoying puns, but at least they're a reference to something, rather than Pokemon, which lives in its own little universe and has nothing to do with anyone else. Yeah. But uh, uh, back to the main storyline, and here's where we get into spoiler territory. Oh goody. <laughs> So, I guess I should explain the opening cutscene before anything else, because it's very important, actually. So, you choose your character. You can either be the boy or the girl. And you have this friend or sidekick or whatever you want to call him named Todd. And he's much more tolerable than Rosie. So, so the, the hero and Todd are out wandering around in a forest where they hear there are live dinosaurs or divasaurs. I don't know how Vivasaurs end up in the wild, it's kind of a Jurassic Park thing, but whatever. Well, they get a little too close to it, and they get attacked by an Allosaurus. By the way, Tom, I just looked it up, Tom Hanks' character in Castaway was named Chuck Nolan. That's a very strange name. Yeah. But anyway, keep going. I, I, I just thought you'd like to know that. So they get attacked by an Allosaurus, and this is, this is straight out of Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. Get attacked by the Allosaurus, and this guy named Joe Wild West comes and saves you, flying on his. A, on his a, name is Joe Wild West. Yeah. The, what a it's it's Wild not Wild it's West. not the worst. It's not the worst. Believe me. I mean, this game. This game is actually much better about the Shane names. Shane West, Desperado, Rough Rider. No, you don't want mana. None of this. Don't get me started on Nick Mac. Hey, <laughs> so much. Well, Joe um, Wild West sounds like an awesome name. Yeah, he's he's what you would expect. Please tell me he wears a, a cowboy hat. Oh yeah, he has a cowboy hat, complete with horns, cattle horns, on his hat. Anyway, Jesus he flies Christ. up on his on his uh, pteranodon and rescues you. And then what you what he does is uh, not land. Like, I'm curious. Do actual animals exist in this universe? Yeah, these are just these are these are just the uh, the, the revived fossils. Pokemon is ne at least the show of Pokemon has never been too clear on that. Because if you remember the episode of where Ash fought Misty in the gym, yeah, you see the aquarium, there are actual fish. No, like fish fish. See, at least... Again, Pokemon lives its own little universe, but Fossil Fighters actually, ex actually has an explanation for why there are other animals. Because these are specially revived fossils. So, how they end up in the wild must be sort of like uh, Jurassic Park, where they just kind of escape. So, he saves you, and you land, and what he, what you have to do is you choose a Vivasaur to fight the Allosaurus to calm it down. And, yeah, familiar, isn't it? Oh yeah, very familiar. So you do that, and then, even more familiar... You you uh you save yourself from the Allosaurus and then you go to thank the Wild West and basically he rewards you by letting you keep 
whatever Vivasaur you chose. And what are the different Vivasaurs then? Okay, there's an air type named Aerostion, who's definitely the coolest looking of the four. <laughs> I'm, I'm imagining like a pterodon here. Oh. I'll try to get the, uh, the fossil That area. is the proper term, right? Pterodactyl, pterodon. I know you're like a bit like, you know... Um, I'm not going to go too much into detail because I will bore the crap out of you. I know, but, I know. I, I, see, um, I have to, she I'll, didn't I'll tell me to... too much because she wanted my genuine reactions to certain things. Yes, so. that and I'm a, I'm, I am a fairly, uh, fairly knowledgeable in dinosaurs and I correct this game all the time. Uh -huh. Which kind of ruins the fun, but whatever. Oh, yeah. So you have well, arrows. Oh, that looks cool. It's... Yeah, he's definitely the coolest looking. He's got a, oh. he's got big teeth and he's got a frill. It, kind of, it looks like he's sort of wearing a hula dress. Um. I mean, then there's say... there's a sauropod. It's Littlefoot. Except it's big. Oh. All right. Oh, but Titanosaur. Nice. Yeah, it's a big, big dinosaur. Looks like little play, but yeah, and uh, it ostensibly female just by the looks of it, like the eyes and such. Hmm. I mean, there's no way to check for gender in this game. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's, let's not go into that. Let's not go into that. That is a fantastic idea. What, 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 what's option C? Um, option C is if I can find it. Uh, Jintao. It looks like a unicorn, kind of. Um. Yeah, it's a, it's a it's a hadrosaur with a big. It, it's a it's a unicorn. It has it has a horn. That that down. horn it's, looks it's, off uh, a little. Uh, that, that that is. <laughs> I was not ready for that. But anyway, the the fourth I'm choice. Sorry. The fourth choice is my personal favorite, and that's Dimetrodon. Ooh. And Dimetrodon, I've always I've always loved. Not technically a dinosaur because he lived far be far um, before the dinosaurs, but uh, he's really cute. He's pretty good actually. He's got decent attacks, balanced stats, and a really good ability. He has uh, when he's hit by an attack, he absorbs thirty percent of the FP used, right. which and he does and look gives cool. It to you. Yeah, he's he's my favorite. Probably overall the most useful. 